Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to Vlogmas. So today for Vlogmas, I'm going to be sharing with you a Black Friday haul that I did from Zara. Albeit, they weren't all Black Friday items. I just had a bunch of things in my cart and I ended up purchasing a couple things from Black Friday sales. And then the rest were just regular stuff. But I want to share with you, I guess, like a winter slash Black Friday haul and what I managed to nail during their sale. Kobe's here trying to like eat my pants. I don't know why. But you need to calm down. <laughs> no! So long story short, I had a bunch of things in my cart that I wanted to check out from their Black Friday sale. And I actually forgot that the sale kicked off at 8pm. My friend called me at 9 because she was panicking because she couldn't find something. Trying to ask if I could source it for her from Toronto to bring back to Ottawa. Which reminded me to go on to check my cart and to see if my things were still there. Unfortunately, when I logged on, half the things were gone. Oh my god, it was so frustrating. Half the things that I wanted to get were gone, so I only managed to get a couple of things, and I figured, you know what, if I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff now, I might as well just try on some other things at the same time to see if I like them, and then I can wait for the sale that usually comes in like January, end of December-ish, to get some stuff then. So we're just gonna dive right in to what I got for this Black Friday and winter Zara haul. Yeah, that's what it is. First up, I got this really, really cute cardigan and a short set. You guys know I die for knit sets. I have a couple of them that I got from Zara last season, so I decided to pick up a different one. This one has more of like, I don't know, like an English aisle, English countryside type of vibe with knitting and also kind of like the printed knit yarn on the side. I don't know. I just really liked it. It's also low cut and it's like a nice drapey cardigan. Really, really cute. I love that it has it on the cuffs as well and on the bottom of this. And then to match with that, I also got the matching bottoms. How cute are these? These are like super high waisted, kind of looks like granny pennies to be very honest. I have no idea if I actually want to keep these or not because I was thinking about it and I have no idea how I'm going to actually style these. Like these come up really freaking high on the crotch guys like really high it's almost like wearing diapers and you know what as much as i love this set where's the practicality of wearing this like i can't wear this at home i can't wear this around my family i can't wear this out it's literally going to be loungewear in the home which i guess is really cute but that really limits me as to where I can wear it. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep these or not. I did get it as a set with the intention of wearing it as a set because it looked really freaking cute, but we'll we'll see. Once I rationalize and figure out what I want to do with these pieces, then I can determine whether or not I should be keeping these. But the two of these were adorable, definitely not on sale because this is part of their new collection. Okay, next up, this was part of their sale, I believe. If not, I stand corrected. But you guys know I've been loving sweater vests and I want to try this style of it. I purchased similar ones from Mango a few hauls ago and I didn't end up loving them so I ended up actually returning them afterwards but I wanted to try this style because I don't have anything quite like this yet. And this one is essentially the drape over vest. It kind of just looks like you have a blanket over either sides of your shoulders because there's nothing to attach in the middle. It's just like a big sheet of knit material that you just rip over yourself. But it does come with a hood, which is really cute. And I thought this would be adorable to layer over, I don't know, dress shirts, blouses, just to see. So I tried this on and I actually think I'm gonna return it because I don't like how it feels when it's not secured to your body. It just feels like it's flapping around too much and it didn't feel comfortable, if that makes sense. It's a really, really cute color though. I don't have any vests in this color yet, which is why I was primarily drawn to it but I don't love the way it fits and how it looks. So this one unfortunately is definitely going to be returned back to Zara. I'm just gonna run through all the sweater vests and then we can be finished with that realm of the stuff that I got. I purchased this one as well. It's a darker caramel brown and I really like the kind of like crisscross knitting going up the front. It reminds me of another, I don't know, I guess another countryside cozy sweater. It has slightly, and I say slightly because there's not much going on here. There's no shoulder pads, but it has slightly structured shoulders wherein the pushed and pressed over the material and folded it underneath and then sewed it in so that when you wear it, it kind of accentuates your shoulders a little bit. It's also slightly cropped. It kind of comes down to your waist, but not all the way down. And it comes with a little small mock turtleneck at the top here. I thought I would truly like this one because the way the model styled it on the website looked really, really cute. But when I put it on, it just accentuated my shoulders in a way that I didn't love. So unfortunately this one will be returned back to Zara. Although it did look really cute and it's super, super soft on. If you guys are 
hemming and hawing as to whether or not you like this material because you're worried that the wool is going to be scratchy. It's like a really, really soft knit, so it doesn't irritate my skin at all. I lied. I also got another sweater vest. I purchased a very similar one from H&M back in the summertime, and I love the way it fit the white one that I had. It was like a really long, drapey knit, so I wanted to get one in a different color. I already have some blacks and gray ones that I got from H&M, so I wanted to try like a more taupey brown, and I saw this one on Zara's website, so I figured might as well order it. This one legit looks like a sweater vest my grandpa would wear, although it's not a vintage one. I wish I could stumble upon something like this when I went thrift shopping. I haven't yet though. I thought I would like it because it's a very similar silhouette to the one that I got from H&M. Unfortunately, the shoulders are actually quite longer and they drape off the sides of your shoulder and it kind of comes and creates like a little cap sleeve, which I'm not the biggest fan of because I don't like how cap sleeves look on my body per se. However, it is a really, really cute, beautiful taupe color though and I think this would look amazing on somebody else. Bear in mind, this actually comes quite oversized. So if you're somebody that has a smaller frame, just keep that in mind. For me, it fits kind of like a medium. So if you're smaller than me, then yeah, just keep that in mind. It's very, very baggy and would be great to wear over a dress shirt because then you can use this as a dress. Moving on to sweaters now. I got another turtleneck sweater, but I've actually already tried it on and I will be returning this. So far, it looks like I'm essentially returning almost everything except for that first cardigan and short set, not even shorts, like cardigan and underwear set that I got. Everything else has been like, eh. I'll be transparent, give you guys a heads up. I tried all these on already and most of the pieces I got in this haul, I wasn't too impressed with. So a lot of them are gonna be going back just to preemptively prep you for that. Cause I know somebody's gonna comment down below and say like, why did you show us all of this? If you're just gonna return all of it. You guys know my shtick. I just want to be able to be critical with the pieces that I buy so I can share with you my thoughts. That way I can help you in the case that somebody here is interested in some of these pieces and is not sure if they want to order or not. Because I know a lot of us are doing online ordering right now since many stores are closed, especially myself in Toronto. Can't really go into stores. So I picked up this sweater and it has padded sleeves on it. You guys know how much I love my shoulder pad t-shirts, so I wanted to try it as a sweater. I've tried a couple of other ones from different brands. None of them have really hit the spot for me. Like they really are missing their mark. And safe to say this H&M one is also missing the mark on me. I wish that the padding started in a little bit closer. It starts out quite wide here, so it droops off of your shoulders and just looks weird. Like the silhouette doesn't look right. It just looks like you're wearing somebody's sweater that they shoved shoulder pads into the wrong spot. So unfortunately, I know you're turning this one. The material is really, really soft though. And the color is right up by Ali. It's similar to the sweater vest that I just showed you guys, like a taupey gray olive color. I just wish it fit better. But besides that, I really liked it except for the shoulder part. We got a couple more sweaters to go and then I'm gonna switch over to some like jackets and underwear. So if you guys have been following the trends, this whole kind of like shrug situation is trendy again. Back in like 2000 and I don't know, eight or seven, shrugs were a huge thing when I was in middle school, high school. Albeit back then, it was popular to get it as like a thin jersey cotton material and you just wear it over top of tank tops or tube tops. Now they're trendy in the sense of sweaters. So I picked up this gray one. It literally just looks like a giant tube of material with rolled up cuffs at the bottom. And then it has a slit open on the back here that you just poke your hands through. And it's kind of like a shruggy shoulder sweater, shoulder armor. Shoulder arm, shoulder arm warmer. I think that's what they called it on the website. They had really weird names for it. It actually really reminds me of a ballet dancer's warm up clothes or just a dancer's warm up clothes in general. It's just really easy to take off sweaters that are just in places that would keep you warm so that it's not overly restrictive when you're dancing and moving around. And I actually really like the fit of this one along with how loose and wide the cuff was at the bottom of the hand here. Most of the time when I get sweaters like this, they usually end up cutting off the sleeve a little too high above the wrist and it just looks weird. It looks like you're wearing clothes that are way too small for you, but this one has been sized properly and it comes down long enough that it covers your hand and looks good. So huge fan of this one. I also got another one as well in beige and I was really, really excited for this one because it looked really cute. It's like this. It's in this like really soft knit material. You guys know how much I like knits, especially turtlenecks in the winter time. So I had my eye on this one for a while before I made the plunge. Also, I don't think any of these ones are on sale. If anything is on sale, I'll mark it down below in the description. If anything is on sale that I purchased, it will be marked down below in the description box. Um, hopefully it's still on sale on their website as well, but I'll just put like a little asterisk next to it so you guys will know that that piece I got on sale. So I picked up this one. It's also similar to the gray one that I just showed you, but instead of putting it behind your head, similar to that one, this one you're gonna put over your head and wear it as a turtleneck. And it actually comes down across the top of your shirt like this. So if you have a tank top that comes down low, you'll see like a little bit of cleavage, which I think is a little bit sexy. It's kind of like slightly revealing, but slightly not. 
and I liked it because it was so soft and the knit detailing is beautiful. Unfortunately, this is a case where a sweater ends too short on the wrist and it just looks like I stole somebody's shrunken sweatshirt and put it on. So not the biggest fan of this one and I'm gonna be returning to Zara. I'm actually gonna be exchanging this for the size up because I got this in the extra small small and they only have one of the size which is the medium large. And I just wanna try on that one to see if the arm length is gonna be a little bit longer so it looks a little bit more natural on me. Cause right now it ends like right above my wrist and it looks like I just took my younger sister's sweater and chopped off the top and it just, it doesn't look cute. So we'll be returning this one and exchanging it for a different size for sure. Last sweatery knit looking thing that I'm gonna share with you guys and I tried it on already and I absolutely love it. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. It is this knit kind of jumper romper situation. It is so cute when you put this on and I can imagine myself wearing this with like knee high socks, sitting in front of the fire with some hot cocoa, watching some sort of Christmas movie on the TV. It's, oh, it just gives me all the cozy vibes. I don't know why. It's so freaking cute and you can also wear this outside right now it's not too cold just quite yet if you pair this together with some tights and some knee-high boots it's gonna keep you warm and also wear a trench coat or like a really thick overcoat over top like a wool one you're gonna be really really warm in this it's actually a really thick heavy knit so I'm a fan of that one it's not one of those thin ones when you walk outside you can feel the wind going through the stitches I'm I hate those so I love this one and I'm definitely gonna be keeping it it is so stinking cute also I want to mention it is adjustable at the waist here so i mean if you're gonna be well not adjustable like slightly elasticated so if you're gonna be eating christmas dinner with the fam and you want to look cute but still be comfortable but still look cozy and chic this is definitely right up your alley and you need to get something like this to wear because it's so freaking adorable the only thing i wish that they had were pockets and the shorts there are no pockets so it's only downfall but i mean it is a knit material so i can foresee that if they were to put pockets into this it would get really bulky around the waist and probably wouldn't look the cutest but other than that Love this one, and I, I don't know why it took me so long to get this one. It's been sitting in my cart for like a month now. Okay, moving on to blazers, because you guys know I am also a blazer nut. And I wanted to try a couple of them that I saw on the website. First up is this black one. So I was looking through my blazer collection. I have every color available under the sun. I have like yellow, light blue, reds, brown plaids, a bunch of different beiges, a couple of whites. Some other navy blue ones but i don't have a black proper blazer which is weird that like you would think that that's the first blazer that everybody gets surprisingly i don't have a black blazer so i've been on the hunt for a black blazer i mean i do have that herringbone riding jacket that i got from vintage but it's not like a pure black black so i've been looking for a black one and i stumbled upon this one on their site it's really cute it's cinched at the waist i know i wanted more of like a boxy cut but i think this one would be really really nice to wear with my dior belt since it cinches in already and it's very similar to like a riding style jacket it comes in at the waist and kind of comes outwards at the end to kind of shape like an hourglass figure i don't know i think it'd be cute i'm really in the dior mood right now you guys will see soon i have some new goodies i just got recently that i can't wait to share with you but i thought this looked a lot like the dior bar jacket which is primarily why i got it it also has these cute ruched detailings on the sleeve here it's like pulled up so it looks like it's been elasticated and it actually looks really nice if you push it up on your arm it just like stays in its place and it looks really natural so i was a hugest fan of this one i also love the way it fits i have no qualms with this one i honestly think i might just keep this because it's so beautiful and well constructed doesn't really necessarily check off all of my black blazer dreams on my closet though it is a more unique silhouette so i'm still on the hunt for the perfect like black boyfriend blazer that is my nightmare it's the hardest thing to find picked up a different blazer as well this one is a navy no it's a black pinstripe one and it's actually a cropped blazer so i tried a couple of these ones on already and most of them don't really fit that well it has to have like the perfect cut if it's cut straight down like an a-line that kind of flares out a little bit when it's not buttoned properly i don't know i've tried a couple haven't liked any of them tried this one on and i am obsessed so this one actually comes as a set with like pants and I think like a long sleeve blazer or a vest underneath and when layered together it just looks like tailored perfection and I kind of want to get the rest of the set now that I've tried this one on. Oh, it is just so sleek and beautiful and I also love pinstripe because it looks super chic and very like, I don't know, like intelligent. It makes you look smarter. I don't know. Everything about the tailoring on this is perfect for Zara so I'm definitely also going to be keeping this blazer because I don't really have anything like this yet when it comes to blazers right now they need to be like a different silhouette or a different color from what I have because I feel like I have covered the bases more or less for all of like the basic ones that I like the very last blazer that I got I know I picked up a couple is this black leather one it looks like this I had my eye on this one for a while now 
I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep it yet because it's not necessarily the most versatile blazer for me. It's a very statement piece. So it's super shiny black leather. I think this is a pleather. And it has really, really shiny, bright gold buttons as well. It's definitely a statement eye-catching blazer that I don't know if it's something that I need for every single day. Although it's definitely a really nice blazer to have in your closet for special occasions if you're going to like important meetings or conferences or if you're a keynote speaker for something. Like these are really good pieces to have in your closet because they look super, super sharp. I think it's beautiful, but it doesn't really fit my vibe completely. It's much more Balmain and YSL and I'm not really those types of girls I'm more of like a Dior Chanel which is like a slightly softer side obviously Dior and Chanel are both really well known for the blazer cuts as well but it's definitely not in the realm of leather huge lapels really bright shiny buttons and like a really cinched in waist this is right up Olivia Rustag's style for Balmain and although I love it I don't think it's my everyday style I don't know it's one of those blazers where I think I really really like because it's chic it's been cut and tailored really well but I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it so for me I'm gonna have to definitely try this out with a bunch of different outfits first to see if I truly like it before I decide whether or not I want to keep it it is beautiful though and if you guys want a blazer like this like a Balmain looking blazer definitely get this one from Zara because this is for a fraction of the price I think Balmain blazers are anywhere from like five to seven thousand this one's like 99 dollars so fraction of the price still expensive but if you keep your eye out for it during the winter holiday sale closer towards the end of december early january you might be able to snag this one on sale as well done with blazers we're going to move on to some outerwear which are some jackets i got another jacket i have been obsessed with shackets I should really stop they're so comfortable and warm plus they look really cute the issue with Canadian winters are that sometimes it gets so damn cold outside all the winter jackets end up being functional practical ones and they aren't really cute like I have a ton of parkas but a parka is a parka so I wanted to get a couple of other jackets that were not only warm and functional but also pretty and stylish looking as well and I've been really loving the jacket trend because it helps me to elevate my outerwear game a little bit but still stay warm and not have to sacrifice like being comfortable so I picked up this jacket and I really really like the print because it's more like the brown side you guys know I have the white and gray and blue one from H&M which I love it's a super long one I also have the white and like slightly purple green indigo blue one as well too from Zara and it's like really really oversized and amazing to layer with pieces underneath so I wanted something a little bit more brown which is why I picked up this one this one actually looks more like a jacket from like Mark's work warehouse somebody I would envision going to I don't know the countryside chopping up logs and starting a fire outside in the winter cabin I don't have a problem with that because I like doing things like that but I really like this one and unfortunately it's a little bit too thin material wise it's kind of like a woolly flannel blend but I really wished it was a little bit thicker and had a lining so I could wear it as an actual outer coat jacket this is more of like an inner cardigan because it's so light so unfortunately this one will be going straight back to Zara because it's not going to serve the purpose that I wanted to and I wanted something that's much more substantial for myself although the colors are really nice though I like it and it fits really really cute it's just it's not fitting a need that I have at the moment in my closet okay so next up is a long beige overcoat so I have been on the quest for like a nice overcoat right now something that's a little bit looser in the arms looser in the body because a lot of my jackets that I have are actually quite tight they're very slim cut silhouettes that work great if you're just wearing a turtleneck or a really light blouse underneath but unfortunately since I like to wear a lot of sweaters in the winter time and they get quite bulky the arm drops a little bit and a lot of my jackets cut in quite tight here it's really difficult for me to wear my sweaters with these jackets hence why I want an overcoat something light easy and airy for me to just throw over top still relatively tailored though so it looks chic and beautiful but not too tailored to the point where you can't move sometimes I feel like the Tin Man or like a Michelin Man when I'm walking around like stuffed into my jacket I literally cannot move which is not fun so I'm in the hunt right now for the perfect overcoat I found this one from Zara it's more of like a menswear tailored one really really sharp shoulders and like a wider a-line bodice coming down so you have lots of movability when you're wearing this over top of a thick sweater the only thing I didn't like about this is the lining so as you guys can see here the lining stops on the middle of the back it doesn't go all the way down so this is not a jacket that's gonna keep you warm in the winter time when a lot of people say overcoats a lot of them think of like a really light pea coat felt flannel wool material that you just throw over top and yeah that definitely is the definition of an overcoat but I wanted something that was a little bit more substantial and would also keep me warm and was a little bit more structured so although I love the look of this one it has like a very vintage thrifted vibe to it and I think the cut is impeccable I don't think it's also hitting a need in my closet wardrobe right now for what I'm looking for so unfortunately I will be returning this one back to Zara because it's it's just not checking off what I want and at the moment I can't afford to add new clothes into my closet that don't really check off other areas of needs and wants that I have besides just looking cute because I have no space in this condo anymore for clothes 
Also, subtle plug at the same time, please shop my Poshmark and help me get rid of my old clothes. You guys can find my account using my username right here, or you can click the link in the description bar below. Visit my Poshmark and to help me clear up my closet a little bit so that I can make way for more pretty pieces like this one. But in the meantime, although I really, really love the fit of this one and I would love to keep it, I'm gonna have to send it back to Zara because it's not really, I don't know, it's not neat in my closet. But if you guys are looking for a jacket like this, definitely get this one, it's cut so stunningly I, I i'm impressed next jacket that i got is actually a trench coat and i have been loving styling trench coats recently i think it's because i had such good luck with the thrifted trench coat that i found at valley village when i went with mel last month that i've just been on a trench coat kick i really want to get my hands on a kensington one from burberry but that's not happening anytime soon i'm trying to put that out of my mind that will maybe happen next year who knows we'll see but i saw this beautiful faux leather trench coat from zara it's like a chocolatey maroon material i can't really describe it it's like a rich warm dark brown and it's super oversized very menswear style looking kind of like inspector gadget-esque which i like because i kind of like the oversized menswear look right now very bored from the boy or bored from my dad slash grandpa so i fell in love with this one on their site it looks really really nice unfortunately i think it's a little bit too oversized for my frame even though this is the smallest size that they have available i ordered this in the extra small i believe yeah and it's a little bit too big for me i think i'm gonna actually have to first try it on with some sweaters first to see how i like it because it definitely does give me a lot of room to wear it with the sweater and to not feel bunched in and like restrictive where i can't move around there's definitely a lot of space for this one but i think if i was to wear this more in like the fall time when i'm wearing lighter sweaters it just looks so oversized to the point where i look like i'm drowning in material so i'm gonna try it on in the cutaway and show you guys what it looks like with the sweater on and then also show you guys what it looks like with the sweater off and just like a regular shirt so you can kind of envision the difference of the fit in case you're somebody like me and you have similar stature to me if you guys are ever wondering i always keep all my measurements down below in the description bar as well so you guys refer back to that but if you guys have a similar stature to me or you get similar sizes to me at zara then you'll know how it fits and what to expect if you're going to be ordering this one i really do like it though so i'm hoping it turns out well so i can keep it because it looks really really cute and this one does kind of fulfill like a wanting desire in my closet so i'm considering keeping this one i haven't decided just quite yet i'm almost done guys after this there's only two things left and then we'll be finished with this zara winter black friday haul so I got a pair of these cognac colored pleather pants from Zara because I saw a really cute pair from Aritzia and although Aritzia makes phenomenal quality pleather pants, they are expensive up the butt and I don't know if for a brown color it's a pair of pants that I want to splurge my money necessarily on because I don't know how much wear I'm actually going to get out of it. So I wanted to try these Zara ones and these are very, very loose high-waisted boxy cut pair of pleather pants it's in this beautiful cognac light brown tan color and when i say oversized i mean like why like look how wide these pant legs are it's really nice and loose and it's also super high-waisted as well for anybody who likes high-waistedness but unfortunately even though for an extra small i found that these pants were a little bit too big for me and the way that it's been cut it's really boxy as well so it doesn't hug nicely to your figures i was hoping for more of like a molina cut similar to the Aritzy ones, up around the waist where it'd be nice and tight and give you like a slight booty lift and then be loose from the thighs downward. Unfortunately, these ones are definitely more of the stovepipe nature. It's loose from the waist all the way down and although it's tight enough to sit on my waist, it just doesn't cinch in nicely for that kind of figure shaping I was hoping for. So I will be returning these ones back to Zara, although if you guys are slightly larger than me, say like maybe a size two or size four in pants regularly, I think the extra small will fit you well and this is going to be a great dupe for I think the funk pants from Maurizio. It's definitely not as soft as a leather, it's quite thick and relatively like structured but they're really really comfortable on cooling and also not as expensive as the Aritzia pants. As you guys know I've also been a huge fan of kind of like lounge and leisure wear recently and I wanted to pick up this really cool bodysuit that I found from Zara since it's similar to the Skims one but for a fraction of the price and I don't have to pay duty since we have Zara warehouses here in Canada. So I picked up this thin skin colored one it's like a light meshy material i thought this would be really cute to wear underneath like say a sweater and i can throw like a really thick knit sweater over top and just kind of have this like peeking out underneath or wear this as a bodysuit and have pants on the bottom it didn't quite turn out the way i thought it would honestly i thought this would be much stretchier it's like a really really 
thick mesh material that does not have a lot of give so it's definitely going to give a very figure hugging type of shape to your body but I had a really hard time sliding this on and stretching it over my body. I barely got it over my waist. I was actually fearing for my life that I'd rip this in the process of trying it on and I wouldn't be able to turn it back to Zara. So just keep in mind this is extremely tight and doesn't have a lot of give. I wish it would fit but unfortunately it doesn't so it's going to be going instantly back to Zara and I don't know maybe I'll consider the Skims one since those ones look like they're a lot comfier stretchier and still give you like the figure hugging shape without making you feel like you're constricted inside of somebody else's skin this is like a snake pre-shedding its skin it just sits in there except it's not loose and it's not easy to take off like a snake skin probably is very last thing I'm going to show you guys I'm not quite sure what these things are called it's not like I don't know it's not like a, it's like a belt a strap belt I don't really understand what to call these, but it's really cool. I have nothing like this, and I feel like this is like a really cool accessory to have in your closet to really amp up any tops that may be simple that you have. So we decided to get it. This is 100% genuine leather, so it's going to wear really nicely since it's soft on your skin, and it's very, very simple. I've seen some other crazy ones that have like buckles and everything down here. I want it honestly something simple I can wear or a sweater like this and just give my, I don't know, my outfit some extra level added of dimension of difference. Sorry, my camera cut out on me, which is why it may have shifted a little bit because I still have to go restart it and I think I may have tapped it a little bit but like I was saying I haven't seen anybody with this quite yet and I felt like it's a cool and interesting and different accessory to have so I decided to pick it up and I don't know I really like it right now I'm gonna have to try it on to show you guys what it looks like and you'll probably get the gist of it but it just feels like a complete my collection of accessories and suits my style of what I like I don't know it's just it's intricate but it's not over the top and it's really unique and different so kind of like this and I definitely think I'm gonna be keeping this one because it's it's different that's all I can say I don't even know what this is called somebody please tell me so I don't sound like a rambling idiot that is it for my Zara winter and black Friday haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I got a bunch of things and as always you guys know that a bunch of things will be returned and going straight back to Zara because I just like to be able to shop from home and to try things on at home to see how they fit I hope you guys enjoyed this critical I guess unboxing slash try on haul slash styling haul together with you guys just in case if you have any of these pieces also in your cart and you're interested in purchasing them let me know down below in the comments which piece was your favorite and if I am actually intending to return it please let me know so that I can <laughs> make the decision as to whether or not I should keep it for myself because sometimes I feel like I don't know I judge things a little bit too harshly and maybe sometimes you guys have good ideas as to how I can restyle and wear things to suit my style better since you guys have seen so many of my videos already but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this massive haul I am very excited for you guys to continue joining with me for vlogmas this year and hopefully up until this point you enjoyed the vlogs that I've posted on my account because it hasn't really been the same vlogmas as last year let me know if you like this kind of like weekly vlog style so you can get kind of a glimpse in my life without seeing every boring moment and aspect because life is definitely not that entertaining right now since we're in lockdown but I hope you guys are having a merry and happy holiday season thus far make sure you guys are giving yourself lots of rest and time to recuperate and to relax because it's been a tough year for all of us I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video